Willkommen zurück zu einer neuen Folge von L.A. Noir. So, dann schauen wir glaube ich zuerst mal bei dem Mann vorbei, habe ich mich jetzt mal spontan entschieden. Danach können wir denke ich immer noch zur Bar fahren. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? Auf zu dem Mann. A nosy old hag? Ha! And I thought I was coming on strong with the ex-wives line. Sometimes you have to be firm to get the information you need. God damn it, ain't that... Wird mir das eigentlich jetzt angerechnet, wenn der Unfälle baut? Das wäre ein bisschen unfair. <lacht> Dann schauen wir gerade noch mal. Oh, der Müller wurde hier auch. <lacht> McMahon. Scheint wohl jemand Wrestling zu gucken. Da muss doch. Maldonado ist in Apartment 304. Alles klar, dann hör, komm. Ein bisschen Gas. Muss ja wahrscheinlich dann im dritten Stock sein, oder? Zwei hundert, ja gut. Noch eins höher. Phelps, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. Hey, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker, you're under arrest. I got a hundred pounds of white. Now look, I don't want no trouble. Stay back. Stand down now. I got nothing to say. Okay, ich glaube, es hat sich doch mal gelohnt hier mit dem. Okay, er ist glaube ich noch nicht so weit. Jetzt ist er so weit. Damn, they got some decent shots in there. Cop these sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! You think I killed my own wife? Should get the whole place of going over and talk to the neighbors. Ja, gut. Schauen wir uns dann mal an. I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. Dann schauen wir, was wir hier finden. Tatsächlich nichts Interessantes. Hier ist, glaube ich, auch erstmal nichts. Dann guck mal. This will take some explaining. Höchstwahrscheinlich, ja. Just picked fruit market. 
I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries from this place. <lacht> hm, wenig Alkohol. Sehr ja, schön. Das dürfte aber dann gewesen sein. Ja. ja, das dürfte es dann, glaube ich, mal gewesen sein. Dann fragen wir mal bei den Nachbarn nach. What do you want? LAPD. We're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I worked nights. So you weren't home last night? No. I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Those two? They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Gut zu wissen. Na naja, gut, dann gehen wir wieder nach unten. Und fahren mal zur Bar. Mal gucken, was wir da finden. Hm, oder? Haben wir... Warte mal, nee, ich glaube, da haben wir jetzt keinen... Haben wir dafür einen Hinweis gekriegen? Äh, gekriegt? Gerade nochmal schauen. Äh, nee, tatsächlich nicht. Okay, ich glaube, da müssen wir tatsächlich noch ein paar... ...befragen. Hier jemand zu Hause? No good. Nobody here. Mm -hmm. hey, sorry about that. I'm playing with my kids. <clears throat> LAPD. Were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, wife and I are separated. And uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. <laughs> Oops. Na dann, gucken wir hier mal nach. Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss... Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. Jetzt haben wir den Hinweis. Super. You're thinking you're going to call that one a nosy old hag too, Phelps. Well executed restraint. <laughs> I'm executing restraint right now, Finbar. <laughs> ah, don't mess with Phelps. So, zur Belohnung, weil du mich beleidigt hast, darfst du jetzt auch fahren. Oh. Ah, ne, das waren ja hier die Dings. Zwar ab zu Bar. You're behind the wheel. And where exactly are we going? Go, go, go. Car 11K, Car 11K, come in. Na komm, beeil dich mal, alter Mann. KGPL, Levin King, over. Levin K, in route. Das machen wir dann danach. The captain is waiting for you downstairs with Anchor. We gonna go downstairs and see Donnelly or what? Ach so, sollen wir das doch? Two with Willard, please. This guy must have escaped the loony bin. That's that cop. Seems like a decent guy. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Überraschung, da ist niemand. They're waiting on the tech service. Justin paid look about him. Keep talking. Someday you'll say something intelligent. 
Na gut, na gut. Dann schauen wir, was es hier unten noch Schönes gibt. Boys! Come on in. Phelps. Have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. This information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and type from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand-typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. Okay. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. I don't care. I don't go in for letting gangsters off hmm. free. Schauen wir uns das noch mal an. Okay, also Gedicht, ich weiß nicht, ob wir, also wir können da glaube ich auch nichts Besonderes sehen. Das gibt es ja öfter mal, dass dann irgendwie von wegen, ja, da ist jetzt irgendwie kein, ein Buchstabe bei der Schreibmaschine ist kaputt und dann kam er irgendwie über den, auf den Hersteller der Schreibmaschine und so weiter und so fort. Scheint hier jetzt mal nicht der Fall zu sein. Ähm... Zumindest mal auf den ersten Blick nichts Interessantes zu erkennen. Keep upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. That's why we called you in. You think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley. Sure, I knew that. You see, Finnis? I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what does it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We had the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. Ja, das will ich aber erstmal machen, nachdem wir bei der Bar waren. Vielleicht können wir bei der Bar nämlich noch ein paar interessante Sachen rausfinden. So, nee, 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 nee. Ich will erstmal hier zu der Bar fahren. Zack. Das mir das Spiel immer aufdringen will, wie ich mein Spiel zu spielen habe. Man, man, man. strange that all these murders are happening to girls who've been out drinking? No, no. A broad drinks, she gets a bit tight, she starts mouthing off. This leads to that, and she ends up in an alleyway. A sad story, but this town's seen it play out a thousand times. Why don't you want to see a connection here? Because there are perfectly good real-life suspects for every one of these murders. We don't need to go looking for the monster under the bed. Can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah. 
me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night, 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. Oh, what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh, shit. Do you know her well? Was she a regular? Hell no. She was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. A waitress. I have oh, danke. Hm, schauen wir doch mal rein. Mhm. Kammergericht, also wahrscheinlich wegen der Scheidung gehe ich mal von aus, oder? Ja. Es geht um die Scheidung. Hmm. Divorce papers. Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. Hmm. Na, dann fangen wir an. Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. Ah, ich glaube, der ist nicht so ganz sicher, der Kollege hier. Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She went to the cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. She seemed reluctant. Okay. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. Okay, das könnte man glaube ich sogar glaube ich glauben. Ja, macht zumindest mal Sinn. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off though. Thanks. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey. Get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have white feet. Na gut. Das wäre das. Dann würde ich sagen, wir gehen nochmal zum Revier zurück. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Und, ähm, ja. Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. These letters? Brown and Hanson believe they are genuine. From him. Now we sent another. You know, I really hate this fuck. This Black Dahlia guy. Have you seen the body? The fucking case just gnaws away to the guts. Holy. Every prom queen from every fucking hick town in America turns up here. Where do they end up? Gutted. Fucking side. Think there's anything to the divorce angle? Das werden wir, denke ich, mal in der nächsten Folge dann rausfinden, wenn wir den Kollegen hier feuert haben. Ich bedanke mich auf jeden Fall schon mal fürs Zuschauen, hoffe, ihr hattet Spaß. Seid beim nächsten Mal dann mit dabei und bis dahin, macht's gut und ciao, ciao.